Play clock down to one. Sawyer pumps, lofts towards the end zone, and it's picked off. Right into the arms of Rayshon Pleasant. He's still going. He's got green grass in front. It's a pick six for Tulane. And this green wave defense showing out in a big way. A hundred yards to the house. Rayshon Pleasant joining us here inside Studio A, taking it end zone to end zone. What a game. What a performance, Rayshon. Showing off your speed there. I got to ask, what's your 40 time? Because, man, <laughs> you were flying down the field. I'm definitely a 4-3 guy. <laughs> All right. Well, first off, you know, what What did you see to anticipate that pick? Uh, honestly, I knew – I was hot. I knew the uh, the ball was coming to me, and we seen in film all week that they like to wear run fades and double moves when they get to that area on the field. And they had just tried our uh, other corner to play before, us, so I knew like the the play was coming. And it really just happened in slow motion for me, for real. He ran the double move, the ball was on the throw, made a play on the ball, and it was just I went to the races after that. My teammates had great blocks, set it up for me, and it was just I went to the races after that. Even though you're listed as the, the redshirt sophomore, I can see the experience there. You're thanking your teammates. You're saying we watched the film. We led to all these things to get to this point. But at the end of the day, it's 100 yards. I mean, were you gassed at the end of it? Was there a, a little extra uh, fatigue involved having to go length of the field to, to find the end zone? I ain't going to lie. I'm a different side <laughs> at the end. I'm a different side at the end. But... I managed to, we had, uh, we got a great strength staff that prepared as well in the off season as far as conditioning. And I was just able to shake back after. Now I, I have to ask, there was a hundred yards in the interception return. How many touch or how many text messages did you get after the touchdown? Did you hit a hundred yards or a hundred text messages for each yard that you had along the way? <laughs> hey, well, uh, it was way more than I normally get. <laughs> it was a lot. Hopefully more than the jersey number. It was more than five, right? Not for sure. <laughs> okay, good. Your former teammate, Tajay Spears, shouting you out on social media. Curious uh, what you heard from from him and any other former teammates now that are in the NFL and the big leagues. Uh, Tajay and Corn, they like big brothers to me for real. Uh, they was here my freshman year. They took me under their wing and just showed me how to uh, be consistent and just be a pro for real early. I just stuck to that strip since they've been gone and just working out fine for me. Speaking of consistency, this defense, to be able to come out with a shutout, what was the focus that was required or, or some things that you guys really talked about, thought about in-game to be able to pull off a performance like that to open up the season? Uh, a lot of preparation for real. We just big on just holding each other accountable and just being very detailed in everything we do. And it just came to light on Saturday for real. It definitely did, and, and you Wait, guys. Third day. Yeah, third day there you go. You a little early on. You got a Saturday game this week. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the the big thing that I looked at was the the fact that you guys were on the same page for the majority of the game, communication wise. Uh, this is a new staff. I mean, a new head coach coming into Tulane, but the expectations still remain the same. What has been the off season work, uh, and how much preparation led to a moment like that in a game uh, where you guys were able to execute? I ain't gonna lie, we have a great staff. Uh, we are very blessed to have them here. And they do a great job just holding us accountable of what each and every day we come up to work and, and they have hold us to a very high standard. And it's up to us to hold each other accountable to uh, hold that standard. But we are very blessed. We have a great staff and they do anything they can for us and they do anything they can to make us in the best position to go out and make plays. Your head coach, John Summerall, a former linebacker, has that defensive mindset. What have you really learned from him? How have you benefited from having a head coach here like him over these past eight, nine months? Like I said, uh, he truly a blessing to come here. He's a young coach. Uh, he really related to, relate to players for real. And it just a his energy, he walk around with each and every day, and it just is truly a blessing to have a great coach like him. 
And you've had a couple of coaches now in Tulane. But why? I mean, you're a West Monroe kid. You're northern Louisiana. Why going, making the move to New Orleans? Why was that the best fit for you? Uh, and how much excitement do you have now with the new staff and still those same high expectations? Honestly, I came here to, like, playing games like we playing in this weekend. Mm. Uh, just a better conference, the great conference. Had the opportunity to play against P5 teams. And previously from my the first staff, it was I loved the staff. It was a great staff. And just like the staff here, I I love the staff. And it just it really was a no-brainer for me for real. Well, let's dive into that K-State matchup. Big game here ahead this weekend. You faced them back in 2022, coming out with a win that was really a game that was the momentum, sparked the the magical run that you all had that season. As you watch them on film so far this week, what stands out about their offense and quarterback Avery Johnson? Uh, Avery Johnson, a great athlete. Uh, he very athletic. Uh, their receivers got some speed. And they very detailed and uh, they coach hard for real. And with all of that being said, I mean, it's always a challenge physically for a defense like that. How are you preparing for that going into the week and knowing the challenge that you have with Wildcats ahead? Uh, honestly, it's really all on us. Just everybody, uh, 11 players doing their job and just having great eyes and just nobody really don't have to do none outside their job for real just getting 11 players doing their job and we're gonna execute the plan a big game ahead on saturday we're going to play a game right now here inside <laughs> of studio a and don't worry i'm putting kyle on the spot too he has no idea yeah. the answers to any of these trivia questions so the last time there was a 100 yard pick six at tulane guess the year 1971 <laughs> All right, so we're going to play some trivia. just a little bit ago, right? Uh, that was just yeah, down a couple years back. Based on some things, yeah. What was going on 53 years ago? So putting both <laughs> of you guys on the spot here, how much was a gallon of gas in the year 1971? Oh, uh, Do you want to start us off on this? Because I really have no idea. Uh, I'll say 50 cents. Uh, I'll go. Okay, so I'll go a little bit higher. I'm going to say 71 cents since we're doing 1971. Well, okay. neither of y'all uh, were very on the money on that. 36 cents wow. a gallon, which if, equivalent to 260 today. So it's about the right ratio. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. If we were prices right, you and I both would have lost. We both went over. <laughs> uh, it was not even close. <laughs> no, for real. All right. Let's see if you guys can get this next one. Football related. What blue and white team won a Super Bowl in 1971? And I think Kyle might know the answer to this one uh, only because of, you know, a tie he has. But we'll see what you got. Uh, got to be the Colts. Ooh, they, were, they would have been the Baltimore Colts at that point, right? I mean, I guess so. Hey, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Y'all are right. Now, bonus, if you can guess who they played and what the score was. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know. I just took a wild guess for real. Kyle? The w Wait, the, the Baltimore Colts won it? They in, won. In that year? That year, they won. Mm, Who did they play? I'll say... It's I'll another guess. blue and white team. How about I help you guys out? I don't okay, know. I'll say the Titans. I, I don't know. The I Dallas have... Cowboys! They play the Cowboys? Yeah, 16-13. Cowboys. Uh, All right, well, you guys got half of that question, right? Yeah. We'll move along here. I love coffee, so had to go a coffee question. What coffee shop opened its first location in the year 1971? I don't even really know. Only coffee shop I know for real is Starbucks. Yay! Yeah. So. Hey, all right. I was showing you the green shirt. I would have given you the the nice little hint along the way with the green shirt. Oh, so it was. It, it was, was Starbucks. Starbucks. It is yes. Starbucks. Oh. Yeah. Uh, bonus, if you can guess where that first location was. I'll say Texas. Uh, Seattle, Washington. Yes, Seattle. Uh, I know that from okay. my honeymoon. Don't feel bad. It's okay. It's a good, I was just there two weeks ago, <laughs> yeah. too. So that's my wife was like, let's go ahead and go to the first Starbucks. I was like, all right, that sounds good. And then we, it was actually great. It was fun. All right. <laughs> one last one for you guys here. Born in 1971 as Calvin Broadus Jr. What name is this West Coast rapper and Olympic super fan? Okay, hint, hint. Olympic super fan best known as. Any guesses? Yeah, okay. I have no clue. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, see, this might be the one that I actually did know. How about, uh, think about, he was out there, he was at the Olympics, he was walking around with the fun glasses and the fun outfits. 
if you watched any of the Olympics. Uh, the D, Snoop. the D O, the D O G, Snoop Dogg, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I, I could have guessed that for real. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you would have gotten there at some point. Hey, we appreciate you playing the trivia <laughs> game with us, and greatly appreciate you taking the time, Rayshawn. And looking forward to seeing what this Tulane Green Wave team can do here against Kansas State this weekend. All eyes will be on that one. Best of luck. Thank you.